This is a review of the AudioNet Humboldt Integrated Solid State Amplifier. It's a whopping huge amplifier. It's built in the same basic chassis outer box as the Stern preamplifier or line stage. It features floating panes. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit, but it just gives it a, a striking, striking look. It was introduced at the 2018 Munich High End Show in Germany, and it was a prototype. It wasn't until six months later that we actually heard it, and when I did hear it, I thought, my goodness gracious, this is giving you this the same sonic signature as the Heisenberg Stern separates in a single box solution. Um, I mean, it is just beautiful, beautiful to behold. It's a big boy. It weighs 134 pounds or 61 uh, kilograms. It's uh, 450 millimeter tall, 320 wide, and 505 millimeter deep. That equates to 18 inches wide, 12 and a half inches tall, and 20 inches deep. Just a beautiful thing to behold. It's available in silver or black. It puts out a whopping 320 watts in the 8 ohms or 460 in the 4 ohms. It features Furutec rhodium inputs and outputs. It's got three pairs of RCA inputs, two XLR. The cool thing is the rhodium torque down clicker cinchers for the speaker cable give you ultimate confidence. So when you're putting your speaker cable on, you're not going to over tighten it. You're just going to have just enough pressure on that spade uh, if, you, if you're using spades. Just love those things. Front panel, very basic, shows your, your volume, you can switch inputs, but what I like about it is this silky control. My goodness gracious, it is so silky smooth. It is microprocessor controlled separate resistors for every position along the way. It is just a torque to, to, to force of, gosh, it's ultimate luxury and functionality. It's a double dual mono design um, for all circuits and power supplies. The Back to the floating panes. This allows, and there's, and there's holes here, you can't see them from the camera shot, holes that ventilate so all any heat within the unit is dissipated throughout the unit evenly coming out. And the panes themselves, they prevent microphonics from getting at the circuitry. Uh, they're also, they've got pads on the back so that they're deadened so you don't you know they don't ring now the floating pane design well that's special that was designed by german designer hartmann esslinger hartmann was hired by steve jobs in 1984 to be the chief industrial designer for for uh, for his new macintosh computer Hartman stayed with Steve up until 1990. He left with Steve over to Next, the new company that Steve had for a little while before he went back and took control of Apple. Uh, Hartman also designed the Sony Walkman. So it's just <laughs> fascinating just to see this and to touch something that's been designed by someone who's got so much out in the marketplace today. It's, uh, it, was a, it was an honor to meet him uh, back in 2016. Uh, they received a, a German Design Award for the Heisenberg Stern back in 2016. Um, this is just stunning to look at. Now, this volume control, part of the reason it's so silky smooth, it's got a double ball bearing in there. So it's just, gosh, back to that. Holy smokes. The best part of the review is the listening session. And this one is super special because this amplifier, it has such power, deep bass. I had to find a track to really showcase the bass. And Jimmy Page, Robert Plant. Piece. It's a live recording 
from 1994. It's not Led Zeppelin. They didn't have the bass player or the drummer. So it, it just was the two of them. It is spectacular. Whoever's on bass, I should, I could, should look it up, is you, you can hear it thunder. I mean, it is thunderous, the bass uh, that came through on the recording. I even put a test recording up on YouTube just to see how it would fare uh, with the compression, YouTube compression, and it's, it's walloping on YouTube. So grab your headphones, get your seatbelt on, here we go, Jimmy Page, Robert Plant. Since I've been loving you.
pluck. I mean, you could hear the, the bass just it resonated and loaded the whole room. And this is one of the first YouTube videos that we've shot that you can actually hear the bass on the YouTube itself. So you were strapped in with me, man. It was, it was awesome. Jimmy's guitar just punched on through. And that solo in the beginning when he starts off, it's just hauntingly beautiful. And the interplay between the voice and the guitar, you know, these guys, wow. I mean, it just was everything that you would hear at a live concert. The crowd noise in the back, did you hear that? The crowd noise was way back in the other room. Jimmy was right up front. You could hear him. Fingers on the strings. I mean, it is, it's everything is in this recording. What you get from, from Humboldt is power and a majestic soundscape. We're talking, it wraps around your head. That's an audio net exclusive trait. The wrapping around the head in a loaded environment, in a loaded listening room. No other company that I know can do that. This is giving you, the Humboldt's giving you, again, 95% of Heisenberg Stern in, again, single box solution. I like single box solutions because you don't have to have wires all over between the amplifiers in your room, and it just makes for a nice, tidier look. The associated equipment that we've used for the review, we'll start at the source, sources, United Home Audio, reel-to-reel -reel tape deck, and we were playing a master tape copy. We have the Max Inman's DAC from Thrax. This is an outstanding DAC. Thrax enters the leg of the big boys. Trust me. They're, they have arrived. We're using the outstanding Borison 05s. It's a masterpiece loudspeaker. These loudspeakers deliver so much information, it is startling. Well, you, you heard them. <laughs> Just awesome. Cabling is by Synergistic Research and ANZUS uh, DTC level cables uh, throughout in the system. We're using the gorgeous still point racks, and we have the still point apertures uh, on our left and our right. Uh, the amplifier is sitting on still point feet. And that completes the equipment. Impeccably detailed and fine. Sophisticated when it comes to the launch of the transient. It's just a sophisticated launch. And the transient comes at you in a clear, crisp way. But as it follows through in the sustain, there's an organic quality that this gives you, just like the Heisenberg Stern. If I could sum up the sound in one term, it's organic. This is an organic amplifier built to the highest, highest degree of craftsmanship. The inner detail is hauntingly, hauntingly spectacular. You just, you hear everything in the mix. As we heard with Jimmy and Robert, the frequency response is... <laughs> unbelievable. The bass in this room, my goodness gracious. Now I talk about backgrounds too, and the backgrounds are as black as black can be. Images are coming out of nowhere. You can close your eyes and you can be transferred to the original event. It is that palpable. The humble it pulls every little detail out of your recording and presents it, again, in that organic way. And isn't that what we're looking for? The sound of the reality of the instrument, the tone, the organic nature of an instrument, whether it be a cello and the wood and the rosin on the bow, or whether it be an electric guitar and the pluck and the launch of that transient. This delivers transients impeccably. The sustained follow through is so natural and the decay is just perfect. It's effervescent. This is, if not the finest, one of the finest amplifiers I've ever heard as a reviewer. 
I urge you, if you're in the market for a super integrated amplifier, look no further than Humboldt. I'm glad you could join me here at AV Showrooms for a review of the AudioNet Humboldt and a great, great, powerful listening session. So, thank you very much for joining. Peter Bringer reporting for AV Showrooms. Bye.